So we're here with Michael Chandler, current Bellator lightweight contender, as he prepares for his upcoming fight against Will Brooks at Bellator 131 in San Diego. So tell me real quick, um, the last fight with Brooks, um, there were some questions about your health. Um, you had said in an interview you're a no excuse type of guy. You weren't going to lay anything out like that. So are you healthy now? Do you feel better? I feel, I feel like my body, my body feels 18 years old. My mind feels 28. You know, I feel like. Uh, I feel like I've matured so much in the last couple months. I wake up every morning with a newfound, um, a newfound passion for this sport, you know. So, so take me back real quick to the fight in May, your first go around with Will Brooks. Was he everything you thought he would be as a fighter? Is there anything that surprised you that he was able to capitalize on? Nothing really surprised me. You know, I think uh, you look at Will Brooks on paper. He's he's strong, fast, explosive. We just have a great game plan and. I just can't stress enough how, how much this team and this, these coaches have been behind me through it all, and I'm excited to go out there November, November 15th and put on a great show. So you, it was well documented that you wanted this fight, you wanted the rematch. Um, how'd you feel when Bellator gave you that news? I was very happy. You know, it's, uh, it's it was a tough situation because you know it's I, I did lose. You know, and, and I'm I'm not the kind of guy who who wants handouts. I'm not the kind of guy who's going to make excuses if, if I had to fight my way back through the tournament. To get that title shot, I would do it. It was a close fight. It was a controversial fight. There was, you know, a lot of people thought I won. So why not do it, do it again? You know, I think it's a fight the fans want to see. So um, luckily, it's right here in my backyard in San Diego, a couple miles up the road from here, and it's gonna be a great day. So tell me about training here at Alliance, uh, internationally known as one of the best gyms um, with all the best fighters. It's got to be like a buzzsaw going through sessions with all these different guys. Uh, how has that just helped develop your game? It is, you know, it's uh, it's you have the best of days and you have the worst of days, literally the worst of days. You know, it's uh, it's tough. You, there's no easy rounds. There's no easy days. There's no easy workouts. And but at the end of the day, that's what that's what life is all about: pushing yourself. If you're going to be um, you know, if you're going to be something, why not try to put yourself in the best situation possible to become the best at it? I came here and, and I haven't looked back since. This is my home. Uh, my wife and I have planted our roots here. and It's a, it's a good team we have here in Eric Del Fierro, Adrian Melendez, um, and then just the crazy roster of guys we have here fighting in Bellator, fighting in the UFC, fighting in all the big shows. So it's a buzzsaw. It's the best of days and the worst of days all rolled into one. So tell me about the Bellator experience so far. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been great. Scott Coker has a reputation, and Scott Coker took Strike Force from nothing into what it was, and, and uh, you know, he's got a great reputation. He's a fighter's kind of guy, so I'm just excited to see what, what uh, Scott Coker brings to the table. Obviously, I know what he brings to the table. He's a great guy, great promoter. I'm just excited to see the, uh, you know, what 2015 looks like, what, how big this show looks like, how, you know, when we sell out the sports arena, 13, 14, 15,000 people, um, up there in Point Loma, it's going to be a different feel to that Bellator experience. It's going to be bigger, better, bigger fights, bigger names, and uh, 2015 is going to be a big year, so I'm excited about that. So, one thing Coker did, which I really enjoy, is that he loaded this card up for local talent. He yep. has a lot of guys on this card from the area, different fight promotions, and you're the guy leading the way. You're, you're the top guy of all the local guys. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. You know, it's... Uh, it's great to fight. It's, it's great to get the opportunity to fight for the lightweight title, in, you know, any day of the week. But when you get to do it right here in San Diego, my new my new hometown, living here, um, it's beautiful weather, beautiful people, and uh, the military the military presence is just amazing. This this area, this Southern California, the Orange County down to San Diego is a hotbed for MMA. Pro Chandler crowd, a pro San Diego crowd there. And, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fun. So take me to the fight, November fifteenth. What does your opponent Will Brooks need to be prepared for? Will Brooks need to be, needs to be prepared for a, a better Michael Chandler, a lot better Michael Chandler than he stepped in the cage with. He is a tough competitor. Uh, I'm sure he's very well trained. He's got a great team there, an American Top Team, but he doesn't. He 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 doesn't want it as bad as I do. There's nobody in this entire world that wants wants to be the best in the world better more than I do. And, and that's where I'm at right now. And, and uh, you know, I unfortunately, I wasn't able to show the best fighter that I was last time. And uh, November 15th, I'll be able to show that. And lastly, what can the fans expect? Uh, the fans, they can expect a, a very exciting fight. Not, not only a, an exciting fight for me, but an exciting night. It's San Diego. It's the sports arena. It's going to be a big, big card. You got Tito and Bonner slugging it out in the main event. Myself, Will Brooks, King Moe's on the card, Melvin Manhoff on the card. 
Um, Nam Pham just got signed to Bellator fighting Mike Ritchie. I mean, it's, it's a big stacked card. Scott Coker and the guys there at Spike TV put a, put together a great card. And, uh, you know, for me, whenever I step into the cage, I'm going to be smiling. I'm going to be coming at Will Brooks. I'm going to look, be looking to take his head off and get my hand raised quick. There it is, Bellator 131, November 15th. Thanks for the time, Michael. Thank you guys for the opportunity.